on this long distance episode of the NES Pursuit. Retro Liberty! The Pursuiters journey to Arizona to the marvelous Game On Expo. Hey, you spelled Riff wrong on your hat, by the way. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Ricky may have just purchased one of the most uncommon accessories in N64 history. I'll never see one again. Riff can't seem to get enough NES storage units. Just because I like you, man, you make me laugh a lot. Watch Ricky as he continues to add some heavy hitting video games to his collection. You guys know it works. You, Ricky. Ricky, 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 Ricky. You may want to sit down before gazing upon some of the most beautiful arcade cabinets ever made. What is this? <laughs> it's incredible. Gerard puts Riff up to a task. Can he deliver? Find me a SNES Classic for MSRP being $80. Strap up and brace for impact. The NES Pursuit starts now. Ricky! Wait for me! Ricky! <laughs> Get away from me. Today, we are headed out with the wives, Ricky and I, to Game on Expo in Arizona. It's honestly one of the best expos. Guaranteed for sure one of our favorite expos we've gone to every year since it opened. Ah! I'm feeling hot. So the drive there's becoming wonderful. There's no traffic. AC's blowing. We are on our way. What a good day to be going to Arizona. All right, so we're here. I'm so excited to see everyone. How was the drive? Great. Good job, Ricky. So we get here, we are finally at Game On. I am so excited to go check out the convention, hang out with friends. This is like what we consider one of our hometown, even though it's not hometown, one of our hometown expos. I can't wait. I honestly am gonna go straight to that convention. Dude, last year this walk was so hot compared to this year. This year's, this year's actually kinda cool. Not cool, but it's not as hot. Oh, oh. oh. So we walk in, this place looks bigger than last year. It looks amazing. I can't wait to just get started. And it's just as I remember it, by meaning it's as awesome as I remember, but it's also like twice the size, and Gamester has added some new stuff as well. So it's not just retro, yes, a lot of retro, but also new, it's gaming encompassing in one. It's freaking awesome. So we walked to the first booth, we're just, Whatever, it's the first booth. I don't think I'm gonna find anything. Look, Riff, you need this, bro. We're literally going through the $2 pile, and next to the $2 pile, there's this. What did you do on this? But this one had an N64 watch. I love watches. I'm not sure it's working or not, but I'll give you like a. This one was priced reasonably well, and we know the seller. 20. <laughs> And you know what? He was willing to cut a deal, and I got it for $20. It's just Nintendo Watch, but N64. Dude, for 20 bucks, that ain't bad. So I have to admit, I am just a little bit, kind of a lot of it, jealous about the N64 watch Ricky got. It kind of reminds me of the time Ricky got a Star Fox watch, but I'm gonna push that aside. I'm sorry, I have to. I wanna run into one of these again, look. You really want I love the watches. I love the watch. It's 
very good. N64 watch, I'll never see one again. All right, so in the last episode, NES Complex really wanted to get a Kevin McAllister from Home Alone, and he didn't. I see a little Game Gear game, so I'm gonna buy him the next best thing. Home Alone, Home Alone on the Game Gear. And I have to pick this up for NES Complex because in the last episode I gave him a hard time because he wouldn't buy a freaking little Kevin McAllister doll toy even though he's doing a Home Alone video soon. He should have bought it, so I got him a little Game Gear Home Alone. That's gonna probably be a crappy game. I've never played it, but Chris, you better be thankful anyway. <gasps> the bells are beautiful. Why do I get treated like skunk? <laughs> <laughs> Turbo CD card. I got the whole system, but for some reason it didn't come with the card. So we're at a random booth, and I look over to my left, and I see... I never do you dirty! You're gonna be in the thumbnail. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the title is gonna be called Shady Resellers. Oh my god, do it! I think they're one of our first subscribers. Or like literally the OGs of our old show. Like literally the first like 10 people that ever subscribed. Dude, I look over, and they look at me, Ooh, I'm like, ah. Oh. What are you gonna buy? I don't know, dude. Hurry Real. up! I get there, and they have, dude, they have good stuff. Not just like, whatever, they have good stuff. Go hey, if you don't buy it, thumbs down. Thumbs down, on the video. Let's <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. I'm honestly hesitant to what I want to get. There's a box Metroid that I really want. But then again, there's Punisher on the Genesis, and I'm just like, I can't do it to him. Would you do 80? Dude, these are both great games, and I mean, the price, is, the price isn't bad. And then David comes up to me, he's like, dude, you buy them both right now? 85. But if you walk away, they go up to 90. I was like, dude. He's like, no, even more. I'm like, ah, oh, dude. So, you know, I was, there, 10 minutes deciding what I wanted to get. I was only gonna get one, but whatever. Deal. Yeah. The deal was so good, I had to get both for 85. Come on, Punisher and a box Metroid. Not just any Metroid, the yellow Metroid. It's the brown card's not gonna work on him. You know what, it was a good deal. Was it a good deal? Toy me is floating spider dog. <laughs> Am I blushing? Am I blushing? <laughs> Look, you know what's funny, John? I haven't seen you in like what, four or five years. It's been about five years. But we yeah. we talk, but not in person. Right. No matter how much I remember you being the nice word, a giant. You're always taller than I remember. So the next booth we hit up is our buddies Elliot and Chris from Game Tower. And he's from Argentina. And he speaks Spanish. <laughs> so but his skin is white. I know. So I get that light. <laughs> I walk over to their, bo their booth. Two things they have that I really want is wild guns on the Switch that I still haven't gotten for some reason. Yeah, look, I wanted to get this, okay, and this. And then they had a uh, SVC Chaos for the Xbox. I, for some reason I picked up this game, it's, it always looks so good to me. It's one of those exclusive games where if you buy it, you had a chance to win an arcade. And I wish I would have bought it when it was brand new. I have to put the pressure on you now. <laughs> I don't know what these go for anymore. So I won these two games, but truth be told, I didn't want to spend that much money. Uh... And I brought some trade with me, and they really wanted these two Dreamcast controllers I had, which was the black one, the sports Sega one, and the smoke gray one with a matching VNU. We'll give you that in just 10 bucks. Then just 10 bucks. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. 
the less money you have to spend, the better. So, Ricky, 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 Ricky. I traded them that plus ten dollars on top, and I was like, All right, whatever. Okay, I'm happy with that. Why not? Che boludo, che boludo. So while we're here and Ricky is doing some deals to get wild guns on the Switch, trading some Dreamcast stuff, I see to the side of me, I just recently picked up this one at Retro Games Plus, but they have the smaller version. Funny enough, it's actually in better condition than mine. The one I have is like a real junker. A Nintendo collector's box. Now I know I got one recently at Retro Games Plus, but this one is a smaller, more compact version, and might I say even a little better condition. And that is good for me. Good sir that I actually know how much for this. Remember, it's really beat up. It looks like a cat pooped on it. So I asked my buddies how much, there's no price on it, and they come back with, uh, just because I like you, man. You make me laugh a lot. 10 bucks. This is what I can do. This is the perfect price for me. Let's do 10 bucks for you, buddy. I'll do 10 is what I'll do, and 10 is what they said. So I'm taking it home all the way back to California to put California games in while I'm sipping some suds, having a good time, riding some waves, and thrashing some asphalt. That's not what we say in California, is it? No. Excellent. So being a channel that used to have a lot of videos with wood from beat em ups, I saw wood and I'm like, all right, I gotta ask him the question that everybody has been asking us, which is, what happened to the wonderful, what happened to the game quest? We always get that in the comments, so I go and I ask wood. But the reason why I stopped retro collecting is because I started traveling. When I came to see your face in uh, in LA or California the first time. 2016? It was like three years ago. That was the start of me like traveling. And how much sense does it make to keep buying loads of retro games In reality, and then having to take them to the next place it I'm doesn't. going to. This actually makes a lot of sense. If I was traveling, why would you bring a collection around with you? That sounds like a giant pain in the butt and a giant expense trip. Deal. You know what I found the other day? What? The boomerang. You have the boomerangs? The boomerang. They whacked both of you in the face and Ricky's churro. Retro liberty. Retro liberty. Retro liberty. Damn you, retro liberty. Was that good? Was that good? It's gonna be really cheap on this. I'm not paying over five bucks. Sorry. We actually went back to go try to find some of our YouTube buddies and we run into Tyler, iRetro Gamer. He had such good stuff that I wanted. <laughs> this is one of my favorite games for the Turbo, Ninja Spirit. And it comes with the book with the manual. He had a Ninja Spirit though that I just, dude, I needed Ninja Spirit. I had it and it's just, dude, honestly, I love this game. It's one of those slash, hack, slash, what did you, how did you? Uh, Side-scrolling action platformer. I got rid of it and I regretted it. So I needed it again, but I would like to buy this. And he was willing to cut me a deal. Dude, Tyler's awesome. This is bro, this is bro hookup, man, bro hookup. Love you guys, seriously. $20. Man, that's, 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 that's great. awesome. He gave me this Ninja Spirit plus the booklet for 20 bucks. What a stand-up guy. <laughs> Ricky, this is something you want that you are desiring. That means, It means more to me that you want that particular game than anybody else on this convention room floor. So absolutely, dude. Great. Good job, Ricky. Stay tuned, because after this commercial break, you won't believe what we're shown next. So an awesome guy named Sam from Rewind by Design is the showstopper. Gamester tells us, you guys gotta check these cabs out. And we're thinking we've seen everything. What can really be this cool at this point for us in the retro gaming world? He takes us.
you. So I'm in awe. I just walked Dude. by this. This is God level. No. This is God's still here. Yeah. 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 All right, I haven't even been around the whole expo yet, but I'm claiming these as the coolest thing in this expo. Dude, we saw these arcade cabinets by Sam. They are ridiculous. I've never seen such a cool arcade. Actually, three arcades. This has been my obsession for the last two years. So, I mean, two, three years. This is everything's done by hand. No computers, no CNC. I mean, I obviously did the graphic design and the computers and stuff, but that's all hand cut, embossed artwork. Perfectly laid out cabinets. Some of the most beautiful I have ever seen in the retro world by far. We go and show Gerard, and Gerard himself too is like screaming, yelling, like, oh my gosh, these are unreal. I need this for my home. I have a Zelda room in my home that I just bought. I need this. DuckTales, Mega Man, Zelda. But that Zelda one, dude, was so pretty. It was like. I've never seen such a pretty cabinet. What is this? It's <laughs> incredible. Thanks, man. Good. You made this? All by hand. All by hand? All by hand. The trim is beautiful. Everything's hand cut, everything. I'm like, dude. Everything. So I did an automotive finish on it. It's just like a car. I waxed them this morning. So I mean, it's a three stage automotive paint job. After I painted it, wet sanded it, polished it. I am hailing these so far as the coolest things that I have seen in the convention, maybe even conventions ever. I said it. Did you hear that? LCD or You've anything won like Game that. On Expo. <laughs> People look at me. I feel weird filming outside right now. It's embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Take that, women. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be on a, a riff show. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am I on a riff one. joint right now? I wanna be on one, I'm cute it's also. Media good kid. <laughs> One of my favorite video game characters, for sure, for a very long time, comes from Super Mario Brothers 2, Shy Guy. Dude, look at this Shy Guy. Oh, the Shy Guy's awesome. And I see a little Shy Guy for eight bucks. I'm gonna buy it because it's actually kind of a sturdy little toy. That's something that doesn't come out on the camera. Should I ask if you can go lower than eight? Yeah. If you get two more, two more, more than two things. But just because of a game collector and game hunter, I feel like I wouldn't be doing justice if I didn't ask for lower. So I'm like, would you go one dollar lower on this? Sure. We literally just like take a dollar off this just so I feel better about my purchase. And he was like, yeah, I will. All right, nothing for my kids yet. I got this for me. I have to admit, selfishly enough, didn't get anything for my kids yet. A nice little shy guy for seven bucks. Can I say it's really a good deal? I don't really know on this one, but it's one of those things where price isn't really the biggest concern for me because it's something I want. Whoa. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. What? Die a floating shark. <laughs> So I'm hanging out with Gerard from The Completionist and he tells me and he's like you know when you go to conventions and you see like certain items and they're either over retail and it's really hard to find things under retail. Saying, here's the thing, you go to conventions right, everywhere you go, NES Classic, SNES Classic, no matter how many times they've been redone. Especially with things like the NES Classic or the Super Nintendo Classic. Someone's always like... 120, 120, 120, 150, uh, you know, 100. They're always going above MSRP and they always sell out. The minute the con floor opens, it's bizarre. So he's like, hey, I try to find me a SNES classic. Right. So I challenged for at least 80 bucks the retail in our area. So I'm like, I can do this. To find me a SNES classic for MSRP being $80. I tell Gerard, I found my buddies, I found my buddies, Chris and Elliot, that they'll do it for 75 bucks, even though they didn't really agree to 75 bucks. He said he found it one for even better. Well, they said 80 and they were literally like, I don't think so, and I was like, I'm telling him 75. They're like, it's not for 75. I'm like, but I'm gonna tell Gerard it's for 75. So I call Gerard over, Gerard's coming over, I'm like, come on, dude, come on, dude, I got you SNES Classic New for 75 bucks. He's demanding. Good. He's we're gonna demanding try it. just for fun 70. But then, my brain starts going, and I'm like, listen, I bet, I bet I could get it for 70. Let's oh do it. Oh my god, I can't, hold on, I can't. 
Dude, this is, you can't see, this is this is the part of my skin that crawls. Let's do it, let's try to get him to 70. Cause I know. Ricky, you gotta cheer with him. Look, as, as a former retail associate, like, that's like below cost. Like, I, just, I just realized we're in the wrong row. <laughs> let's go fast, come on. So we head over there, we head over there. John Riggs is there, Radical Reggie is there, Gerard's there, me and Ricky are there, we're all there. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? You shut up! We're all there. Hanging out, and I, I kind of had to put him on the spot. I'm like, guys, I know you said 70. You didn't even really say 75. But I told Gerard, maybe 70. I'm only doing this because I'm it's crazy. stupid. It's crazy. I bet him, you guys are going to hate me, that I could get you guys down to 70. <laughs> we ask everybody, John, what do you think? That's what he's going for, 80? Yeah. Looking for 70? Yeah. Reggie, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good deal. Yeah, oh. yeah that's fair. John? Ricky, everybody, what do you think? <laughs> In California, there's a war going on for these things Is everywhere. Really? Still? Is that right? People still yes. can't get them. Yeah. Of course everybody agrees on 70. They're not the ones selling it. So, it's up to Chris and Elliot. They're waiting. They're thinking. Game to talk Game about. Tower. I mean, I could, I could, I could. Where are you guys actually? No, like, we're going to edit that out if we don't get it for 70. Oh, I see. <laughs> That was our only oh, bargaining shit. Do you see how this works? <laughs> Gerard is standing there, fluffy beard aplenty, beautiful as ever, just waiting there for the price. And what do you think, partner? Stand next this to Gerard. He smells two, good. Man. We're game game two, two. They agree. I did it! Yeah, it's Screw it, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. And I was able to get it for 70 bucks for you, Gerard. I did that for you because I love you. John, we did it. Reggie, I didn't know it was for him. we did it. For Gerard, <laughs> we did it. Mom, we did it. <laughs> In reality, I just want to be on the completionist. I've been friends for too long and I'm not on that show yet. I thought we were friends. Nope. So that is day one of Game On Expo. Hey, you guys up? You guys up for a quick race? Are we not allowed to get meals? So we head out and get ready for the next episode, day two, because it's going to be a good day. So the day came to an end at the arcade, which was actually really fun. We go in at the end of the night when it's kind of cooling down play video games for like 30 minutes, and then when we leave, a storm has landed. What the heck, it was hot a minute ago. Look at that. Ricky, wait for me! Ricky! You will not believe what happens in part two as a handful of bubbles leads to one of the most memorable moments ever, next week on the NES Pursuit. I run I back run to where back the slip and slide was. was. They're like, what, 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 what do you mean? Dude, he's, Dude, hurt. he's hurt. When Riff when says, Riff he's, says hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt. He's hurt. Just when I thought I trusted this place, they're playing Fortnite. <laughs> Are you mocking me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Nicole? It's not to pee. Chanel? I thought we were really sister. <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> I'm cute, also. I'm cute, also. Are you guys going to get something? I'm not cute. Oh, oh my gosh, full pregnancy. I don't want to offer. <laughs> it's a weird spot to record now that I think about it. Why would they do that to us? I don't know. I think they're racist. <laughs> <laughs>